Welcome back to the Daytime Kitchens. We're talking about fall specialties, food and drink wise with Scott Beasy from Bonefish Grill here in Johnson City. Scott, we certainly appreciate you being here. Put together that wonderful dish out here and showed us all of your fall specialties and they're on the menu right now. They are. You can come yeah. in today and order them. We open at four o'clock. Absolutely. Now, if you're going to have, you know, you're going to have a great meal, you need maybe need a little libation with it as well. So. Absolutely. So this fall we are featuring our fresh apple martini and right. I'm going to teach you how to make one from scratch at home today. All right. Well, show us, get us started. All right. So first we have some apple slivers dusted with some fresh cinnamon Ooh, right and here. we're going to muddle that. So what this does is it brings out the juices and the flavors mm -hmm. of the apple. You get some of the peel and everything in there. Once it's good and mashed down. Okay. Now we are going to add our ingredients. So we have fresh apple juice. All right. Then we have honey syrup. Then we have a little bit of sour mix. Okay. Not too much sour mix. <laughs> Just enough to get it a little. Then little the tangy. main ingredient, the vodka. All right. And you say you apple infused vodka. Yes, sir. Sorry, at, I'm at the counting. We, we free pour at the restaurant, uh, so we have to count as I we're got pouring. You, I got you. Yeah, so what we do is we take apples, we chop them up, and mm. we put them in with the vodka for 72 hours. That gives the vodka a good, fresh Absolutely. apple taste. Yes. But here we're making it from scratch, so we okay. added the apples ourselves. Then we also add a ginger liqueur. This, is, a, a this nice is an ingredient I'm not really familiar with. I've never heard of that. Yeah, it's. it's uh, it's kind of on the sweeter side. It okay. adds that good fall flavor to the dish. Mm -hmm. And I do have ice in your freezer okay. over here, which I have to grab. <laughs> I apologize. And remember, folks, we've got, got desserts. you got wonderful dishes here. We're going to have this wonderful drink coming up. Just had to get a little ice. Yes, yeah, so we're going to top off our got to, glass got to make with it cold. ice. That's right. Then we'll take our shaker. Okay. Give it a little tap. You want a nice, tight seal. If you have one of these at home, right. uh, hold your thumb by where the glass meets the shaker, right. and we're going to give it 20 good shakes. Always have to have a smile on your face <laughs> while you're shaking. So if you're that, a good bartender, you do. Yes, yes, yes. Even if you're busy and in the weeds yes. and it's crazy, make sure you have a good smile. So this chills the liquor. It also infuses all the flavors together. Right. And you had a good seal on that. Yes, yes. we had a good seal. No leaks. Then we'll take our strainer, because right. we don't want the little chunks of apple in there. Right. Pour it into our chilled martini glass. And there you are. And then one more step. Okay. We take a sliver of apple that is dusted with fresh cinnamon, lay it across the top, and there's your fresh apple martini. And it smells amazing. I mean, I'm getting all of that aroma from it, because the, the aromas of fall. With yes, the you apple, get the, the cinnamon, cinnamon, the apple, yes. and the ginger, uh, believe it or not. And it's that a adds. very elegant looking drink as well. It is. It's delicious. I made one for my wife yesterday, and she said, can we get a little top notch job. Little taste test. Here? Absolutely. All right. That one's for you. Let's go here. Tell us what we think. My wife said it tasted like fall. It does taste like fall. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is amazing. Glad you love it. I mean, it is so smooth and there's like layers of flavor in there. Yep, that's what there the really ginger are. and the honey and the apple, they all give you different layers of flavor. And you can come in and enjoy one of these great meals, have a, have a great cocktail, and just enjoy everything that Bonefish Grill has to offer for Ab this fall. Absolutely. We're ready for you. We are open Monday through Thursday from 4 to 10, and then on the weekends we open at 11. All right, Scott, we appreciate you stopping by. Thanks today. for having me. Absolutely. Appreciate being here. Folks, it is Bonefish Grill located right here on North Rhone Street, right across from the mall, right there in a great location. They would love for you to stop by today. Check out bonefishgrill.com.